So, I'm not hearing you audiate the soprano part. in the score, back and forth, depending on what we're audiating and what we're supposed to be paying attention to. So what do we audiate? Audiate because there's so much to audiate. The music. But which part of <laughs> The important part. <laughs> so you have to decide what's the important part. What's the important part in measure one? Right. The D. Just the D. Establishing a D major, a D, that just decays, right? What's the important thing in B2? Measure two. Mm -hmm. Measure two. Measure two? Excuse me, measure two, yeah. Oh. The violin is the tempo with the strings. Establish a different color. Okay, it's a different color because we've got E major suddenly, right? Yeah. And yeah. this builds intensity, right? Yes. Intensity into the E flat major chord. Yep. And who establishes that E flat major chord? The strings with the cello. Right? Right? And then who, why do, why do you think he puts a sudden pianissimo after the forte? There's a practical it's reason. It's it's a <laughs> Get out of the way for the soloist to happen. So as you work through your analysis of this, you're thinking, what am I audiating? What am I establishing at any given moment? D, two, three, E major, and E flat, soloist. And when I asked you to sing the soprano part, all of a sudden your gestures smoothed out. Mm -hmm. But what the orchestra plays is not that different than what the, the singer sings. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about melding these modes one into the next. So try it again. Try the first five bars again. Just you, just you singing and conducting yourself. I want you to pick your tonal centers. May I sit here? I want you to pick your tonal centers as you're practicing. So you're literally singing to yourself. You have to hear these changes. Because if you don't obviate this, Chord with a D suddenly, suddenly, you know? That, that, that 
is going to be very, very strange. And that's going to help us to learn to conduct the harmonic functions. Yes, which is ultimately what we're doing. Which is kind of how you find what's on you. Right. So you should write your analysis into your score, and you should be able to play at the piano through these harmonic changes based on the analysis that you've written down all the way through the entire movement. And as you're learning the score, because remember, this is not a tool for performance. This is a tool for you, for you to learn so that you can memorize. You could stand up and conduct this memorized and be able to, if the score got lost, you could write out the whole thing in blank manuscript. That's the that's what we're pushing ourselves to in our musicianship in terms of instrumental conducting. Um, that is leaps and bounds away from what most of us spend our time doing as choral conductors. Our focus just needs to be slightly different in orchestral conducting because of the number of different voices, instruments, the proximity of everybody on stage, which is far expanded and the fact that that distance creates a rhythmic stress because of how sound functions in the room and it is required of you to know where these harmonic changes happen and to feel that intentional intense sense of rhythm so that there's no mistaking to the percussionist in the back of the violin standing right next to you exactly how this is happening in time i'll tell you that when you conduct uh, orchestra and choir together your ear's gonna play tricks on you. Somebody's gonna make mistakes, someone's gonna come in early, someone's gonna not cut off late, you're gonna be worried about the orchestra, you're gonna to forget to cut the choir off, they're gonna keep singing, and all of a sudden it's just like, uh-oh, you get the inward facing eyes all of a sudden. And you're like, what do I do now? I, I'm lost, I don't know. You can even have a score in front of you, and it's like, I, that to me is like, Chris, you did not study the score as well as you should have. If you are not just absolutely sure, without a doubt, what anybody's doing at any point, we did not study the score well enough. So, I don't say all that to suggest you're not studying your score well enough, but what I do want you to do is when we sing, to be able to hear that, back up to the beat, and you're hearing that E flat major, up to E flat. Try it again. Singing or flat? Uh, We're just really singing. Yeah, that's a huge difference. You're obviating what's actually in the store now. Okay?